on the Carolina Impact page of pbscharlotte.org. Well, during the last 50 years or so, our family dynamics have dramatically changed with more parents working outside the home. In the 1960s, 80% of moms with children under six stayed home. Today, things are quite different. In Mecklenburg County, more than 70% of children under six are left to a caregiver. While one or both parents hold jobs, for many working parents, finding a quality preschool program for their children is a luxury they just can't afford. Carolina Impact's Jason Terzes explains how one organization provides preschool programs which help level the playing field. The most popular activity at preschool, playground time. Kids climb to the top, slide down, and repeat the process over and over again. What these three and four year olds at the Learning Collaborative in North Charlotte don't know is that they're getting an opportunity to succeed in school. And what makes this place unique is it's free. The Learning Collaborative provides a tuition free, high quality preschool education for families struggling to make ends meet. We're targeting families that we um, recognize could use some extra um, support um, with their children through the preschool years. The preschool picks students based on their parents' family income and education level, among other things. But before a child can come to school here, parents must first agree to attend weekly parenting workshops and volunteer with the school. I knew I couldn't afford it, you know even if I tried to get her into a great preschool, but this is a great preschool. The Learning Collaborative offers parents like Tamika free tuition because the organization gets financial support from Smart Start of Mecklenburg County, a nonprofit which receives state and private funding to provide services in health, family support, and early childhood education. The goal, to help these kids enter kindergarten knowing their ABCs and one, two, threes to stay on track with their peers. This is called a geode. But not all the kids are as fortunate as the ones in this program. In Mecklenburg County, there are about 83,000 children five years old or younger. Of that number, nearly one in five live in poverty. With preschool and daycare costing about $10,000 a year for a single child, that's an expense many families cannot afford. But there's another major challenge, finding daycare workers, especially since the average pay is less than $10 an hour. Well, Smart Start works with other agencies, um, particularly Child Care Resources Inc. here in our community to help provide professional development um, opportunities for child care workers. Do a lot of advocacy work about raising the um, educational standards and the salaries for um, child care workers so that we can really have a strong workforce. Some community leaders say providing affordable and quality preschool programs plays a major role in helping those in poverty rise above it. A year and a half ago, um, Charlotte was ranked as one of the lowest cities in terms of upward mobility, and that's gotten a lot of folks talking about um, and, and really examining what does it mean in, to live in Charlotte, what does it mean for young children to live in Charlotte, and what are the opportunities that they have. Supporters of Smart Start point to a number of benefits of early childhood programs, such as increases in high school graduation rates, home ownership, and employment rates, while also reducing arrest and incarceration rates and use of social services. If you think the high school dropout rate is a problem, and if you think incarceration rates are a problem, and if you think income disparity is a problem, and obesity rates and teenage pregnancy, the way to address all of those problems at once and do it in a cost-effective way is early childhood education. As a taxpayer, I want to make sure that my tax money is spent as strategically and efficiently as possible. That means early childhood education. Recently, Paul Kanke, Dean of the Central Campus of Central Piedmont Community College, moderated a panel discussion bringing together politicians and community leaders concerned about issues impacting Smart Start programs. It's one topic those on either side of the aisle seem to agree on. Well, well we're talking about children. Children's not a political, you know, issue. It's not you know, one side of the aisle's issue. This is talking about families and kids, and that relates to everybody. It's not, again, partisan in any way, shape, or form. That's why Smart Start of Mecklenburg County plans to hold more meetings like these, called community cafes, through February, to bring together parents, daycare providers, and business leaders, all concerned about finding ways to support early childhood education programs. Well, that, that's where we're going to have to sit down and get experts to help us understand what are the solutions that are implementable, things that can have an impact today versus things that can have impact over the next year or so versus things that can actually reverse the trend and provide that uh, child care uh, environment 
that's a great and nurturing environment for all our kids to have that opportunity long term. Meanwhile, back at the Learning Collaborative, the kids squeeze in a few more minutes of fun on the playground. We truly get to see how our efforts um, affect a child's life. We see them when they come in and where they are, and by the time they leave us, going off to kindergarten, um, we use the term sowing seeds. We've sown a seed, and now the, the, the flowers bloomed. They say Michaela was one of the top in the class. She knew all her ABCs, she knew all her numbers, she knew everything. So once she, you know, she's in kindergarten, now she's at the top of her kindergarten class. She pretty much knows everything because they taught her here. And the hope is these kids really are off to a smart start as they leave here and head off to kindergarten. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting. Thanks so much, Jason. If you want to learn more about the programs available through Smart Start of Mecklenburg County, we've got a link posted at the Carolina Impact page at pbscharlotte.org. Well, next, we meet an entrepreneur. While there aren't any military bases,